Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Marauder Reacts here back with more Let's Play Trials of Mala. Alright, so we're here. We need to give Von Boyage the uh, explosive because obviously we're going to trust a guy who cannot stick with the name of a giant cannon. Uh, some high explosives. You know, just it makes sense to me. Alright, are you in here? Yeah, you're in here. Hey. We got the thing. Do the thing. Who are you people? We- oh my god. You sent us off to get nitromite and then forgot about us? What gives? Oh right, I didn't forget. I just couldn't remember. That's... Mm. What's the nitromite for again? Fuel for your cannon. I remember now. It's for my revamped cannon, right? Excellent, excellent. Into the backyard and I'll meet you there. Well, hey, he has a giant hammer strapped to his back, too. That hammer is about as big as he is. Like, okay. Go to the backyard, because that seems to be the trigger point for all of these cutscenes with him, is we have to talk to him, and then he magically appears out here instead of just being out here. But I guess it's so that, you know, his wife doesn't just automatically assume he's trying to ignore her. Or something? I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm reading too much into this. <laughs> I mean, that's what I do, though. Like, that's kind of the point of a Let's Play, is to read a little too into things. Revolutionary Ultra Fabulous Turno Cannon number two. It's always changing. But it's always number two. It's the second cannon. Locked onto Velsena. Ready? Uh, yeah. You were just flipping out, dude. Just ah, oh. and now we explode. And this is the, especially the 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 flipping forward spiral. Like that was that was in the original game, and that was also really a thing in Secret of Mana. Like that was the the, the thing because we we travel by cannon several times in Secret of Man as well, and that was kind of the thing, because it, it shot you up into the sky and did the Mode 7 graphics as you're spinning and flying up and then f falling back down, so. And we land in Mulbear Moors, which is actually where our next, uh, little cactus sighting is going to be. So, hey, we've got that going for us. And I don't know where he is comparatively, but there's really only one way for us to go. Like, we can't go up here. That's a little too high. It looks like you could almost jump up there, but you can't. I do like that they've, they've put a lot of detail into this. Because it's like, oh yeah, it looks like I can go there. No, I can't. That's just an invisible barrier. So, it's a little obnoxious, but it's also still kind of neat. Um, I'm not going to bother saving, because I did just save not too long ago. And now we've got more hedgehogs that see us as a threat. And we got a thing down there. There's actually a lot of stuff here in the moors. So... Case in point, a chocolat. Uh, because there's a couple of, like, you can see off in the distance there, there's some islandy things. We can actually go to most of those places. It is a massive pain in the ass to do, to deal with that, because you've got to go in a bunch of underground caverns and get lost. But, you know, that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to kill all of them with a class skill. And we're going to do the same thing again with these guys. Because I want all of them dead and I want the XP from that. Plus, I kind of got to look around and get all the stuff. So. And there. This is going to be 
slightly more difficult. So come on. Yeah, everyone come to me. Alright, we got three of the four. But hey, that worked. And there's an item up here. And I think that's all of the findable items on this set. Like, this is a huge world mass here. Like that we can see. Like it's a very large open area. And we can't really do much with it at the moment. Now, like, we could come over here and... Like, there's a spot up there that we can't do anything with, but that is actually a place we can go later. So it really is just, you know, going into the underground cavern sections, which I'm really not a fan of. I, I thought there was something... Uh, yeah, I was like, I know there's something hidden next to that. It's on the beach section. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and kill them too. Yeah, because I want I want all of your delicious XP. Delicious XP. Cause I'm so close to level. Alright, so we're gonna go down here. And we hop down. You actually have to hop down. And then as you can see, we're now in Mulberry Moors 2, which is a subterranean section. And it's a little obnoxious to navigate under here, but, you know, there's like, this way says, hey, go that way. That's the way out. But that's not actually, I think, the way we want to go. Especially if we want to explore this area and get all the fun treasure items that are available. Because there are a lot of treasure items available. But I think I may be inaccurate here. Okay, so yeah, that was just... That was it. It starts off pretty easy. And then it's going to get a little more complicated and obnoxious. So now we just... We hop out somehow. Because we have superhuman jump capabilities, it seems. And hey, there's a weird statue here. We can't do anything with that yet, but we we will be able to. And hey, look! More of you guys! Yeah, just... Ow. You, you think you're soft. Alright, there's a thing up there. How do I get up there? Oh, I guess I gotta come from the opposite side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so here we are, like, we can see, like, that's, that's the statue that we were just at. So, yeah. Here's all the, the fun things. And, hey, a new enemy. It's the Bee Ladies. Bee Lancer. Not a fan of Bee Lancers. <laughs> they are actually kind of obnoxious, especially as flying enemies. That they, they can be kind of pain. Alright, so we can't go just across the water there, because we can't swim, it seems. You know, that, that seems to be our greatest weakness. Let me make sure there wasn't an item here that I, I overlooked. Okay, let's come over here, kill you guys. And smack. Smack, smack, sugar, smack, give me a smack and I'll kill you. You attacked Angela, stop that. You attack me, stop it. I'm going to bring you down to Earth, B Lancer. Alright, so as you can see, like we it's got two pathways. It's like which do you want to go to? And then there's there's stuff over there, and then there's an item over there that we can't quite reach. I hate mole paramours with a passion. Just, just loathe this place. See, now, now we see it is far more convoluted than the first one. It's like, hey, you think you know where you're going? Nope. 
It's like, hopefully you remember what the upper world map looked like. Because uh, you're, you're going all over the place. Uh, there's nothing in here other than bats. But hey, bats are free XP. So, I say free XP, but they're really not. Because they can get stupid hits like that in. There's no items in here, and that makes me a sad panda. I want items. See, these places that don't have stars are where I'm expecting the items to be. Alright, I'm just gonna cross cut. And apparently I'm gonna miss. Like, that should have hit all three of them, because they were in the air. It did not register. Honey elixir, though. I'm okay with that. Okay. So this is where we kind of came from. This is an exit. That's some enemies. And just gonna stun you and beat the crap out of you. And you're gonna get in the way. All right, I'm gonna heal myself while they kill you. There's another exit here. And then there's a third pathway that does not look to be an actual exit. So it's probably got an item in it. Or not. Oh yeah, there it is. All right, um, I was really hoping to get, well, I got, those two. Uh, I can get these two. Oh god, that, that was a... Uh... Alright, you are going to die, and then we'll deal with you. Yeah, stop with the enfeebles. No one wants that. Alright, let's get the treasure chest. And now we get to eeny meeny our way out of here. Like, which way do we go? I think I'll try this one. See where it takes me. Where are you gonna take me? Because, I mean, we can come back, but the problem is, like, every time we come back... Okay, that takes us there. Like, every time we go back in, all of the enemies are going to respawn. Actually, let me go back up here and see where... Okay, this will take me up there to get that other treasure chest. Yeah, that's where that treasure chest is. But see, we see there's one right over there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna come back here because I think this is where we're supposed to go to actually leave. So we'll take this exit, and I'll probably just kind of run through the enemy. Oh, it doesn't look like they respond. Did they not respond? They should respawn. I mean, everything else was respawning. Okay, now that takes me up here, which is very different than where I was actually expecting to be. Alright, get get down here and just cross-cut everyone at once. There, okay. Alright, so that takes us there. That's, that's a different path, so while we're over here... We'll go ahead and deal with this. Because there are going to be items on this large landmass. Because we already know there's one. And hey, I kind of figure there's going to be something hidden behind a tree somewhere. Oh, I can't, I can't do it. Because we're in battle. Alright, come back down to Earth. I, I, I want you to be dead. And you as well. I was about to say, why is why did only Durin's XP pop up there? There was a bit of a delay between everyone else's. Alright, is there anything hidden around this tree? Because they like to hide things around trees. Alright, let's just make a beeline for this bee. Because you are a threat. They don't care for how heavy I am. 
Alright, why did... Why are my power attacks not knocking the bee out of the sky? There we go. Eat ground, bee. Alright, so we'll get this treasure chest, and that's what we're... What we're hoping for. So that's... Oh, hey. It's... Shade time. I love how light and dark don't get days. They're just day and night. Alright, so we've already been over here. This one is where we came out of. So let's go down this one and see where that takes us. Okay, this takes us to Mulberry Moors 4. Oh god, what I wouldn't give for some actual maps of this game. Someone get on that. Just, you know, make that a thing. G give us, give us some, some maps of the remake. I can find maps of the original game all day long. Alright, before we go around, let's see where this takes us. Alright, that takes us... Okay, that takes us to the, basically the same place that we were. Okay. So we do have to look around a little bit, is what we're going to have to do. You! Die! Meet my good friend, Tulip Sniper. Die. Die. Everyone die. That is <laughs> that's probably the most obscure reference I've ever made. That's from, like, one weird episode of Aqua Teen Hunger Force, where they had uh, hypno germs that was making Shake hallucinate. Uh, and it was just, it was getting progressively weirder, and these hypno, you know... They have no germs. You know, it's, it's a thing. They can only be killed by Mexican jumping beans. You know, all of it makes perfect sense when you're when you're looking at it from a rational standpoint. Oh, perfect! I get two of them with whack bam right off the bat. Break your break your your defensive capabilities, and we can kill you. Oh, that was just wonderful. Perfect coordination of abilities. And managed to not take damage. I'm okay with that. Alright, I don't remember which of these that I actually just... I think... I think I took... I think I took that one. So we'll take the one on the left. Uh, I say that one, and I don't actually, you know, mention which one it is. It's, I took the one on the right, I think, is the one I took. We'll take the one on the left here, and see where that takes me. Alright, no, that... Both of those just take me to the same place. So where the hell am I going? He asks. Oh, hey. Well, over there is where I need to go. But I haven't been over there? No. Okay, so yeah, this is where I can go to get out. But I don't have no idea what that... where that center is. So I've, I must be missing one entrance. Alright, let's try that other star. See where that takes me. And I'm just gonna run. I don't want to run from fights, because I want the XP, but I just I wanna get this item and be done with this. Okay, no, that takes me up here. I want I want to go over there. How do I do that? Tell me how to go there. I want to go over there. Like you would think. Alright, 
let's do this. I think the the way that this uh, the star paths are telling us are to actually progress to exit the area, which is not what I want. But hey, I missed an item over here. Oh, I don't think I've actually been over here. So let's come over here and see where this takes us. Uh, no, actually, I think I have. I have been on this one. Damn it! Oh my god. I just want to find the, the thing. Alright. I can't... I can... I can toggle world map. Um, I can zoom in or out. But I cannot... Like, try to overlay the maps. It'll only show me what specific map I'm on. Alright, so I guess I'm just going to have to do process of elimination. And figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go to get... Over there. Alright, so we know that's not it. We know this isn't it. We know these aren't it. Yeah, I know, I know. I need to heal. I know that's not it. That won't take me anywhere. Is there a pathway that I missed? Like, it's... Mm. There's not one over here. That's that treasure chest. That's the way out. So we're at, where are we? We're on Mold Bear Moors 1. Alright, let's go, where does this take us? Which map does this take us to? Mold Bear Moors 4. Alright, let's take the one that's not a star, and we'll figure that out from there. And see if this is it. If not, I'm gonna come back here and try another one. Hey! We did it! Finally! Okay. So now I can actually continue with leaving this place. I got a broadsword! Yeah, I actually really wanted that. Because Duran needs some next Look at that! I love that sword model. That's actually a really cool sword model. The Iron Sword model is really cool, too. Gladius I'm kind of unimpressed with. Uh, let's check the other. The Ball and Chain, that is that is a mace. Or a Morning Star. Wood Flail. Sorcerer Rod. That actually looks pretty cool. Staff and Wand. Yeah, I, I, that's actually probably the coolest so far. Okay. Alright, let's leave. And then I can make my way to... Uh... I can make my way to Little Cactus. Because I know where he is here. I just need to get to it. As we kill you. Alright, let's... This is the one I wanted to take, I believe. I, I just want to get to the main large landmass, which is here we, where we are. Okay. All right, let's let's kill some more stuff so that we can get some more XP because that actually does help out a ton. And I can get this to refill a little bit of HP. And you die. Wow. Holy bolt. Alright. Let's see if I can get you guys to gang up on me as much as possible. There we go. I think I got 
Oh, I think I... Well, I got three of the four. But, oh, I think I got the fat, too. No, no, did not. But hey, an item. And Durin leveled up. Alright, so we have a long way to go. I need to go way over here, because that over there, in that section there, next to that, that treasure chest, is where little cactus is. Um, so let me go do that real quick. Because we've, we've actually already been through all of this section, because this is where we were in the beginning of the game. But hey, the enemies have actually leveled up to us. They're level 13 rabbis now. So... Oh, come on. You should have died. You should have died, like, forever ago. Alright, let's run. Uh, where am I going? I'm going this way. Because he's on the other side of the bridge. So, let's do this. Get little cactus. He's probably the only thing I'm going to try to 100%. Like, I don't think I'm going to 100% all the items in the game. But I'm going to try to 100% getting all the little cactus locations. Alright, he is up here. He's up here! Hi, little cactus! Alright, so I will go ahead and end this episode here, because we are now caught up on all the little cactus locations that we can be for now, and I need to continue on to Stone Split. So, uh, which is to the north of us. So yeah, I will uh, go ahead and end this episode here, and I'll see you all in the next installment. So till then, later everyone.